Hi, my name is Danny Harwood. I'm the head PJ professional here at the Chapel Springs Family Golf Centre. I've put together a little beginner's guide to golf. And the first episode that we're going to have a look at is the putting stroke. Then we'll follow on for the rest of the aspects in the later videos. Let's have a look at some putting. <music> Okay, so let's talk putting. First of all, we're gonna have a look at the putter itself. There are so many different types of putter that are out on the market nowadays. Some look quite conventional, a bit like my one. I've got a tightly Scotty Cameron 2.5. I've also got some out there that look like spaceships. You know, there's no putter that's definitely gonna be the one. There are so many different putters that people use on the tour, and even at your average golf club or your average golf facility that you go to, Having a fitting is definitely going to help you long term, so you should definitely go and see a specialist or your local PJ Pro to get yourself a putter fitting. But to start off with, pick something up that you like the look of, like the feel of, and that will get you on the right path. When you've found the putter that you like the look of the most, or fancy the most, let's get ready to line the ball up and talk about the golf ball that we're going to be using. Now, I have a Titleist Pro V1X, um, so you've got the brand just on the side, here and then you've also got the model that will be on the golf ball too now I like to put lines on my golf ball at the moment I've just got the one line and I've colored the number four in just to make sure that it's going to be my ball basically so let's talk about lining up the putt now most putts on the golf course are not always going to be pretty straight right so some of them you're gonna to have to aim a little bit more to the left or a little bit more to the right and that's where the line on the golf ball really does come in handy because it's just something visual for us to look at make sure that we're going to set our club face in the right direction and get ourselves in the right direction to have confidence that we're going to basically start the ball where we want it to now as you can see from here i've put three tee pegs down the first tee peg is one putter away the second tee peg that i'm standing on is two putter lengths away and the third tee peg is three putter lengths away now i try and play a game with myself and other people that I teach to. The first tee peg, I try and get three balls in the hole. The second tee peg, I try and get two in the hole. And the last tee peg, I try and get one in the hole. So that's a nice little drill for you to go and practice. Hopefully it won't take you too long. Hopefully you do it first time. But let's talk about lining up the golf ball. Lining up the golf ball. Now, I don't know if you watch much golf on the TV or if you've seen it at, the local, at your local golf club or, or place that you go and play golf. But some people kind of stand behind the ball like this or crouch down. And they're kind of looking over the top of the golf ball. Now what's happening here is they're looking to see if there's any break in the putt. Fortunately here, this is quite straight and it's basically just straight up the hill. So what I've done is I've just put that nice big bold red line going straight towards the middle of the centre of the cut. And that's going to help me line up my putter face. A little bit like this. Once we've got the line on the ball sorted, let's talk about your grip. So let's talk about the grip itself, which is the bit at the top of the club made of rubber. Now, on a putter, the grip on a putter is going to have a flat front. The rest of your clubs in the bag are all going to have a round grip, but your putter grip is going to have a little bit of a flat front. Again, there are different types of grip that you can get. Some are really chunky, uh, some are a lot thinner. So a bit more square, whichever one really suits you. There's no right or wrong, it's whichever one suits for you, suits you. But it is very important that you should consult your local PJ Pro and he will give you the best advice on which one is going to be best for you. Now, let's talk about holding the club. Again, there are so many different ways of doing this. There's a conventional way, there's some really wacky ways of holding the putter grip, like you can see in these few pictures here. And these are just to name a few. Um, but how I like to hold it is like this. So I normally get my left 
hand and I like to put my left finger down the side of my putter grip and that get, basically gets the grip a little bit more in my hands instead of my fingers because if I move my fingers too much I'm going to be a little bit too wristy. So let's try and put it in our, in our hands a little bit more. I'm going to put my left thumb on top and then I'm going to put the crease in my right hand on top of my left thumb. Both of my thumbs are going to be pointing down the grip and then my right finger as you can see here is going to be basically going down the side. So I've got the hold of my club. This is the most comfy uh, way for me. It's just the most repetitive way of making sure I can get the same grip and that's hopefully is going to give us a bit more consistent results and better results. So that's set on towards the ball. So I've already got the line on the ball that we did earlier. I'm going to have a line on the back of my putter going through that line on the red ball and I'm now going to put my feet parallel to that red line and that black line on the back of my putter. The ball's going to be a bit more towards my left foot and all I'm going to try and do here is eliminate the wrist and just rock my shoulders backwards and forwards it's only going to be a small stroke because obviously it's just a small distance and hopefully get it in the hole bingo so that's all on putting for now obviously I've just covered the basics there so if you've got any questions or you want to learn any more on the putting please make sure you get in contact with me my details are just below you can contact me on social media you can contact me through my website take care bye for now